As a visual individual, I absolutely love focusing on the more tactile and less technical aspects, Bionicle being no exception. Yes, this will be a shorter video, as I'm quite exhausted with multiple shifts this week. Current character that I am working on, based him off Osama Sentai King Oger, debuts next month of 2023. The 47th Super Sentai. Seriously sick suit designs. I drew this for a My Hero Academia Dungeons and Dragons campaign we're currently holding. Very experimental piece, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Of great notoriety, none other than the bonus features of the movies themselves. I remember a post from last year on the curvature in regards to Toa no Kama. I'm thinking, yeah, as a college student doing a bipedal creature, that is exactly how gesture works, because you start with a human basis and build on from there. This piece in the back that I created, it also uses gesture, and I did not imitate any sort of reference. I just built it by instinct. There are questionable design aesthetics throughout Bionicle, such as the breastplate, for lack of a better term, on Taragano Kama, and the Mamaris of Rudaka, from the figure to the film. A rough of Tahu, Kopaka, Liwa looks awkward with the mask looking flat, but everything else looks three-dimensional. Hatu, huh. This is a point I really want to strike. Even though they all have the same body and the toys, the figures themselves have different proportions. I'm satisfied with how the Rakshi turned out. What's this? Oh! No, I've not seen this before! The actual Krata themselves. It's incredible how over-exaggerated everything is, but it flows so cohesively. Here, here's what I'm referring to in the form. Because you see a similar S-curve as I used on my Sentai armor. Same thing in Okama as well. Because the tactic is starting with a human bipedal figure, building that structure with proportions, and then you apply the Lego aspect that we get in the form of Technic. But yeah, her features are much more feminine in regards to the human form. I'm sure you all recognize this. Use that for the thumbnail of the channel itself. Concept art of Web of Shadows. I've been told it's lower budget, and it seems like it. I am surprised. Looking at these sketches, they're much more in-depth and complete than the previous two films. We have Nokama's feminine features here, specifically the shoulders and hips matching up in correlation as the female body and skeleton displays. Rudaka still has the feminine form, everything lining up. Got the Mamaris, which is also reminiscent. Weren't they much larger in the movie? I don't know. It's <laughs> just ridiculous Lego decided to go with that and the movie adapted it to an even greater extent. I really can't say Bionicle has influenced my own art. Copper is one of my newest designs, but I'll show you some others. This is a pixel art piece I got submitted into Images Magazine through college. My instructor was curious what class, and it was not a class at all. I did this on my own time. And I'll be honest, it's not even a finished piece. The backdrop here, that's all three-dimensional, but that is unfinished. Same with these textures. But it still got accepted into the magazine, and that is absolute satisfaction. Here's a piece each of you are familiar with. I drew my own channel icon. For context, this is Fox McCloud and his mother, Vixie Renard. This is an older piece, but it was the first time I really pulled off a pixel art look. So I'm satisfied with how it all turned out. Art has been a struggle for me, but not nearly as much as the passion. I love experimentation, I love over-exaggeration. Art has always been about illusion, fooling the mind. But Bionicle has served an even greater purpose. It has, in fact, gotten me to see what type of mind it required just to compile every character and piece of lore. And it's so much deeper than any visual aesthetic. This may surprise all of you, but the number one definition of art, a skill acquired by study, observation, and experience. I suppose I've never asked this myself. Why has Bionicle never influenced my art the way so many other things have? Bionicle left a deeper impression than just a visual aesthetic. Always seems so foreign. 
How can anybody come up with something this obscure, making it so cohesive, novel combinations of so many different genres? Your views are appreciated. Your subscriptions are an open-armed welcome. I am Rokulai. Thank you for joining Raid Exploited. I upload every Saturday night, so look forward to a week from now. To every visual artist, to lore-delving writer, this video is to your dedication. Yeah.